Hello everyone! Welcome back to the channel. Today we'll be covering the latest development of Valve Index 2. As we know, Valve has seen huge success in the VR space since 2019. And according to the official Steam survey, Valve Index is used by more than 70% of all Steam VR users. With that kind of success, we expect Valve to want more with a follow-up device in 2023 that improves on the brilliant original. So in this video, we'll discuss both features we may see and those we want to see, the release date and the price. Before we dive into the video, please consider subscribing to the channel. So based on patterns and Steam VR files that appear to reference a standalone VR headset, we can begin to piece together a picture of what the Valve Index 2 could look like. Now, the Valve Index 2 could be wireless, at least according to patents filed in early 2021, with wired capabilities becoming optional for certain models of the headset. The pattern depicts three different headsets that looked at various options, such as being wireless and standalone, like the Oculus Quest 2, or wirelessly connecting to a PC. The pattern additionally describes new comfort options, such as new methods for more effectively distributing heat and weight for each design of VR headset. We must take all patterns with a grain of salt. There's no guarantee that Valve will produce a headset with these features, but it does show that the company is working on a new VR headset. However, the most credible information comes from VR reporter and YouTuber Brad Lynch, who discovered the Deckard codename in some public Steam VR files, which appears to refer to a Valve in development VR headset. Lynch directs VR enthusiasts to a Lighthouse driver file that cites a Deckard POCA device in a January file, with POC likely referring to proof of concept and POCC model cited in June documentation instead, indicating Valve has been working on refined iterations of its device over the past six months, and ensuring Steam VR remains up to date with support. Lynch's video contains additional tidbits, such as a mysterious prism function and a VR link file, pointing to a Wi-Fi 6 connection for a wireless headset. Now, the Valve Index is a fantastic VR headset, but it is not perfect. So here are a few areas where we'd like to see Valve Index to improve. First things first. We want better game selection straight from Valve. While this isn't a direct issue with the last Valve Index headset, games are still an important factor for all gaming hardware. There are some fantastic VR games available, such as Valve's own Half-Life, Alex, but a platform cannot be built on just a few titles. If Valve is serious about VR, we want more than just a great device. We want them to create more games for it. Whether it's a Half-Life Alyx sequel, a VR adaptation of another IP like Portal, or a completely new IP from the studio, the quality of the games will be important, but a little more quantity wouldn't hurt. Now, coming to the resolution. The Valve Index made use of two 1440x1600 pixel screens, one for each eye. While the image is razor sharp, better screens aren't out of the question, especially given that the Apple VR headset is rumored to use dual 8K screens by 7680x4320 pixels. We believe that 8K is a little excessive, but there's a nice sweet spot between that and what we currently have that would be nice to see on a Valve Index 2. One more in haptics. Considering that Apple has patented haptic socks that may be compatible with its VR and AR devices, a few additional haptic peripherals for the Valve Index 2 could be a fantastic way to crank up the realism of VR to 11. The next thing is hand tracking. Facebook recently announced plans for a controller-free AR experience based on hand tracking, and we'd like to see similar technology applied to VR as well. The hand tracking appears to be straight out of a sci-fi movie, and we'd love to see something similar included in every future VR headset, while we're more likely to see it in future Oculus devices, such as the rumored Oculus Quest 3. Valve may be working on their own version of the technology for a future headset. And finally, the release date and price of Valve Index 2 or Valve Decker. The original Valve Index was released in 2019, 
So given that other headset iterations have taken at least two years, we could see an announcement of a new Valve VR headset in the last quarter of 2023. There isn't any solid info on how much a Valve Index 2 would cost, but we can make educated guesses. Given that a Valve Index costs $999 or £919, we'd expect an improved headset to cost at least as much. That's all for Valve Index 2, and I'll see you in the next one.